Hey guys, today I'm going to be getting iron, or well, more iron filings, out of sand. So, first of all, I'm going to empty out all of the um, sand from this bag here. Um, this is sand that I collected with, um, with a uh, magnet or a lake and all that. So, there should be, um, well, lots of, uh, good iron and stuff. There's also a, uh, bullet casing. Don't need that because it's not magnetic. So I'll be right back with a, uh, magnet. A pretty strong one at that, a neodymium one. This magnet here, which is, um, kind of small. And then there's this big one right here. So, both of them are, ah. Both of them are strong need give me a magnet, so I'm gonna start filtering out all of the uh, iron filing. And I filtered out all of the uh, big stuff. I'm just gonna so now I'm just gonna wrap the smaller one up in this cloth and just gonna dab it on the um, on the finer sand. Now you can see it leaves marks, and in that place is all of these good iron filings. Now it's better because then. The iron filings don't stick to the magnet, and, well, you know, it makes it easier to get them off. So I'm just going to continue to do this. So now that I've got a pretty substantial amount of stuff, you can see it's mostly rocks as well as iron filings mixed in with the sand. So I am going to, off camera, filter all the rocks out, get all the rocks out, probably going to use water. Um, and, well, I'm going to be back when I get most of the rocks out and I'm left with just sand. So I'll see you in a, see you in a second. Now, with everything that I have here, all the remaining stuff that's, um, well, everything that I picked up with the magnet. Now, it's in a plate and, well, the iron bits, even the filings, are going to be, are heavier than the rocks. They have a uh, higher... Density. So if I just kind of pan, pan it, you see, all the heavier stuff will begin to move to one side, like all the bigger rocks, and all the sand, the filings, will stay behind. So now we have big stuff on this side and all the sand and filings on this side which is good because that's a step farther because we don't want all the big rocks we want just the filings so I'm gonna get all this out get some more stuff out of it and continue to pan until I'm left with just what you can see here I'll be right back you see it's a pretty consistent technique because I just did it again and you can see the big pebbles on this side and all the fine stuff on this side. It's actually very useful and um, well I mean I guess that should be very helpful so well I will see you when I get everything done. Uh, I've, as you can see after continued um, pannings or well more like just circular motions to get it all separated I'm left with this very fine grains of well mostly iron filings so I should be able to get them all out uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some out of the other piles that I've gotten from this and then I'm gonna get all the iron out of this back on video so I'll be back in just a second so now I have myself a nice collection of well the fine sands so first I have this filter. You can see that the size is just about the right size to let, um, I mean, the gra the grains are probably, most of them are going to be able to fit, but we're going to get the big ones out. First of all, I'm just going to concentrate this into a ball here and get this ready. I'm just going to start, I'm just going to get it in I'm going to start to shake it around. So you can see what's left are big ones, and now we have 
just fine sand here. So, I mean, that is very fine. Look at that. Now, I'm going to actually filter it through again. See if all of it goes through. So, pour it in. And you're just going to keep on doing this. So it looks like a few grains are left. Those ones we don't need. So I used a weaker magnet than a neodymium magnet to get more of it out. So I've got this black powder and then I've got this grayish tannish powder. This is more like sand with iron like in the mineral and this is more iron like actual filings. So I'm going to use weaker and weaker magnets until I end up not having a strong enough magnetic like pull to pick up grains of sand and to only really just pick up the pure iron like powder. So I'm going to keep on doing that. I'm going to be back. So I just filtered it out with a ferrite magnet. The one that I used to uh, separate this before was a magnetite magnet. So I'm actually going neodymium magnet, then magnetite magnet, then ferrite magnet, and then fridge magnet. And fridge magnet is the weakest one that I have, so that should pull out just the iron. So here we go. We have the pure iron filings right here, and then we have the grainy iron filings that were like bits of sand that I just couldn't filter any farther. So what I've ended up with here, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the weight, see what it is. So the weight that we have here. It's a little under two grams. So now I'm going to measure the weight of all of this stuff, which is what we started out with, and add them all together. So we already know that um, in iron, file iron filings wise, we have under two grams, about, about one and a half grams. And then this, we're going to measure the weight, add it all up, and we're going to know how much we started out with and how much we have now. Now to measure all of this. So, see here. About 49 grams. So if we add it to the powder that we have left, which is about one or two grams, we have about 50 grams of stuff that we started with and about one to two grams of stuff that we have ended with. So this is very helpful, and I wanted to make a video of me doing it just so that I could, you know, show the process of getting the iron filings out of the sand. Um, and I hope you, en I hope you enjoyed it uh, because that'd be great.